Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do, or well this weekend, I decided to do a little weekend barn vlog. We have some cool stuff going on. Uh, I haven't really been vlogging or posting videos lately because it's been like clinic, lessons, training, shows, clinic, and then I was away at Thunderbird for over a week and I didn't do any vlogging there because it's like a huge venue. And I had two horses there and I'm still kind of like awkward carrying the camera around. So um, we're back home now. I took a week off riding and gave my horses a week of downtime. I have a mare that was due to foal July 5th and today is the 7th and she's still holding on to her baby. Uh, she doesn't want to share. So I thought I would take you along and we could visit her and look for her like signs that she's going to be foaling soon and maybe even tonight I will bring you guys back out if the foal decides he's coming out. I think it's a he. I'm hoping it's a he. Um, and then I have Apollo who I started riding and hopefully he'll be in the vlogs that I will edit and post before this one. Otherwise he's a freshly started under saddle but he's just been sitting for the past like three weeks while I've been busy with the competition horses and then I have Nikki who is a six-year-old and I don't think she's really been in anything um, and I'm going to ride her tonight and I'm just trying to kind of get caught up. Uh, all the horses are behind on some stuff and I'm behind on some stuff and my trailer's still not unpacked and that's still my duffel bag from traveling so yeah life's a little chaotic now but I know that's just kind of how it is and I think I'm gonna stop trying to vlog just like perfect situations only because that's really not how my life is at all uh, so um, that being said let's go have a look at Abby and that's my mare expecting to fall well two days ago uh, and then I have another pregnant mare named B, and she's bred to a different stallion. And she's due to foal next month in August. So kind of late foaling. Breeding season did not go very smoothly last spring slash summer. So it's just been a little bit of chaos over here. So uh, come along with me. Okay, so we're out here um, halfway to the mare's pen. But we have to stop and say hello. To Stryker <laughs> and Baby Boo. Now, Baby Boo's real name is Athena, but we call her Boo because she has a ghost for a star. If you see, oh. um, and she is actually Stryker's niece, so Stryker's brother's daughter. And Stryker's brother is still stallion. Stryker is a gelding, and he's one of my horses that went to Thunderbird. So he's not quite completed his week off yet. He has, today is Saturday, so he has at least till tomorrow before I will start riding him. Um, now we're gonna carry on that. In the background there is the camper. And actually, my boyfriend has been staying there because he's on vacation from work uh, on full watch every night since like the first. Um, and like I said, now it's the seventh. So when I go to bed, he goes and stays in the camper and listens for the sounds of falling. Now we're over at the pen with the pregnant mares. They're both eating the round bale because that's what they do best, eat. Oh, bees departing. Ah, so that's Abby. She's the one that's overdue for falling. And that's B pooping in her food because she's great. Um, and she's due to full in August. Hi, B. Hi. You gonna have your baby on time? Or no? <laughs> Hi, Abby. So, Abby is a thoroughbred and she's bred to an Oldenburg stallion named Diamond Stud. Uh, Diamond Stud passed away at the beginning of last year and that was part of the reason why everything was so confusing and didn't go very smoothly. Hi Map. This is Maverick. He's a gelding that lives with the mares and he thinks he's just dead. Maybe. So yeah, Abby has been inspected and put into the main mare book uh, for the Oldenburg Verbrand, the one from Germany. And I'll insert a clip of the stallion. 
Uh, he is super nice horse. Okay, I turned you around now so I can aim and see what I'm filming a little better. Um, Abby likes to suck up right now because she likes to be itched under her great big belly down here. She does. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She's very itchy. So, as you can see, she has a great big belly. Yeah. And she leaked a tiny bit of clostrum down her leg, but not not enough to be alarmed about. Um, she's been waxed up for a few days, I think three or four days. And you can see she's getting really loose in the muscles here. Bloop, 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 bloop. So that's usually quite a firm muscle and it's very, as you can see, really jiggly and soft. So I do anticipate any day now, you can see the belly from the back and we're, we're off to the left, which is usually a sign of the foal's last positioning. Right? You going to give us a baby today? Maybe? No? You think about it. Oh no. Did it go in your eye? Yeah. So she's my pretty girl, and she's Diamond's mom. Diamond is my Palomino Tobiano filly, who's really cute. That's Mav. He's trying to gain weight right now. He had some dental problems early in the year, and he's been in some of my videos. So he did drop a bunch of weight. And this is B. B is an Oldenburg Tricaner Crossmare, and she's bred to Lestat. <laughs> He's got another month to go, so she's just big as a house, but not quite big as Abby. Big as a medium house. You crazy girl. <laughs> so yeah, there's her baby bump. Is that good stuff? Is that good stuff? Okay, so there's my mares. I'm just gonna go get, I think, Apollo first and he's the one that's freshly started I don't know if I'm gonna ride tonight uh, I will at very least do something with him but probably ride which means I have to go to my trailer and get my girths because they're all still in there so I will see you when I get partially organized okay so I'm in the barn now with Apollo uh, he didn't want to be caught so that wasn't something I had planned on now we're even further behind um, He's got a booboo on his nose, so I won't be riding him today, right there. It's not very big, it's kind of a bit of a flap of skin, um, and this is what I ride him in, uh, his side pull halter, so because that thing is basically right there, um, when I have him in the halter, the halter doesn't twist very much, but when I put a rein on the sides, it'll rub back and forth right over top of that cut, so I guess we're just going to do some groundwork. I'm going to groom him. His mane's all crazy. He's a bit of a mess. Um, 
So I guess I will film some of that.
Hey guys, I'm back with Nikki now. Uh, I finished with Paula and I didn't film me grooming and tacking Nikki up. I had to trim her feet first, so I, I didn't want this video to go too long. And I'm running kind of low on battery because I took my charger to the horse show and left it in my luggage that's in the house. So I have no way to charge my stuff here. Yeah, so cute. So Nikki's all tacked up. And as you can see through the door out there, uh, we've run out of daylight officially. So thanks Apollo for the grand tour of the paddock instead of, you know, properly coming and getting to work. So we're just gonna ride in the dark, which is nothing new. I do have lights in the indoor that light up most of the outdoor. And I'll try to get some video footage, but I don't know how well it will turn out. So we will see. Hey, it's 11.30 at night. I just got woken up by my phone. Uh, the foal is apparently here. So we're just going to rip out to the barn and go see. Looks like only one. Well, this hoof is white, so the back, the other side. Oh. Huh. Wave out. <laughs> 